Tomorrow's realities will not be discovered. They will be designed. And when humans start designing realities, the question isn't just what's real, but which reality do you choose to live in? Stand at the crossroads of the future and you'll hear two voices shouting over each other. The optimists say this is liberation. With VR headsets, AR glasses and brain-computer links, humanity will finally slip free from the prison of biology. You'll learn skills by experiencing them directly, visit worlds that never existed, Shape your own physics, your own story. Reality will no longer be given. It will be a canvas. But the dystopians warn of prisons, not canvases. They whisper that the metaverse will enslave, not free. That once corporations own your eyes and ears, they own your mind. That when AI feeds you hallucinated truths, the difference between knowledge and manipulation will vanish. Reality will no longer be a shared foundation but a weapon wielded by whoever controls the code. So, which future awaits us? A playground of infinite possibility? Or a digital cage that erases humanity itself? That is the tension where our rabbit hole deepens. Imagine sleeping on a headset in the morning. Instead of your apartment walls, you wake up inside a Japanese temple. The sunlight, the incense, the chanting monks. All so vivid your nervous system can't tell the difference. Later, with a click, you're in Paris. Sipping espresso at a cafe, while real friends, avatars in disguise, join you from across the globe. For optimists, this is the future of connection, culture, and creativity. You can be everywhere, learn everything, live infinite lives, but critics warn that once you prefer the simulated Paris to your cracked apartment ceiling, you'll never want to come back. Why fix the real world when the digital one is cheaper, cleaner, and always available? Artificial intelligence doesn't just answer questions, it hallucinates realities. Already AI generates images, voices, entire videos that never happened. Tomorrow it will spin entire histories, universes, even religions. The optimists say this is ultimate creativity. Humans partnering with machines to generate endless possibility. The dystopians warn it's the death of truth. If reality can be conjured in seconds, who decides what's real? A world flooded with hallucinations risks drowning in incoherence. Elon Musk's Neuralink, Meta's experiments, university labs worldwide, all chasing one dream, direct brain-computer interfaces. Instead of moving a mouse, you'll move a cursor with thought. Instead of typing, you'll imagine words and they'll appear. Imagine experiencing a memory someone else recorded or uploading your own dreams into another mind. Optimists call this telepathy, empathy, a revolution in human connection. Dystopians see the end of privacy. If a corporation or government can read your brainwaves, then your last fortress, your inner world, is gone. Look at today's kids. Many grow up spending more time in Roblox, Minecraft or Fortnite than in the physical neighborhood. They build houses, trade goods, form alliances, fall in love in digital space. 
The optimists say they're pioneers, learning to treat reality as flexible, creative, collaborative. The dystopians fear they're addicts, unable to face the messy, imperfect, stubbornly physical, real world. When your digital avatar is flawless and your physical body is awkward, which do you choose? Each of these stories, VR, AI, brain-computer links, the metaverse, are not science fiction, they're already happening. The question isn't if reality will fragment, it's when. For most of history, humanity argued about one reality. Religion said God made it, science said atoms did, philosophy said perception shapes it. But the future won't be about the reality, it will be about realities, plural. Think of it like layers. One person works in an office but spends evenings inside a VR dojo training with swordmasters. Another works remotely in AR, their living room overlaid with stock charts, holographic co-workers and news feeds. Another spends most of their life inside AI-generated utopias where grief, hunger and aging don't exist. Each of these worlds feels coherent to the participant, but they are not shared. This is the true revolution, not a single world shattered, but many worlds multiplied. And history gives us a clue about what happens next. Every time humanity invented a new reality technology, societies fractured. The printing press fractured religion. Radio and television fractured politics. The internet fractured identity. Now VR, AR, AI will fracture reality itself. The optimists imagine harmony, a fluid multiverse where people drift between realities like travelers hopping cities. The dystopians predict collapse, fragmented tribes locked in digital bubbles, unable to agree on basic truth. Both are probably right. The future will be both playground and battlefield. But here's the deeper question. How do you live in a world where everyone has their own rendering? Because when realities multiply, coherence becomes the only survival skill. And coherence isn't automatic. It's earned, it's practiced, it's the discipline of holding many truths at once without letting them annihilate each other. In the future, coherence won't just be philosophy, it will be mental armor. A survival toolkit. The people who master it will navigate multiple worlds with ease. The ones who don't will drown in noise, unable to tell shadows from light. The coherence lens reframes the future not as utopia or dystopia, but as a skill test. It says, in a multiverse of overlapping realities, you must learn to align, not with one absolute truth, but with enough shared coherence to live, love and cooperate. Think of a jazz band. Each musician improvises, bending rhythm, layering notes, but coherence comes from alignment, a shared beat, a key, a flow. Without it, the song collapses into noise. With it, chaos becomes musical. Now expand that to billions of people, some living in AI crafted heavens, some in VR games, some in hard edged physical first lifestyles. Each is like a different instrument. Without coherence, they clash. With coherence, they form a higher order, a symphony across realities. That is the future challenge, to not reduce humanity to one flat truth, but to weave billions of truths into a living, breathing fabric. Coherence is not conformity.
It is the rhythm that lets differences harmonize instead of destroy each other. So the question shifts from which reality is true to how many realities can you hold together without collapsing. That is the survival skill of tomorrow. Not physics, not dogma, but coherence. The age of one reality is ending. The age of many realities is dawning. Reality multiplies and coherence must expand. Follow the white rabbits because in episode 9 we'll explore what happens when someone awakens not to one reality but to coherence itself. Through the lights